totally. Mr. Guinea Pig, where's your trumpet? <gasps> I don't know. It must have vanished. But a trumpet can't just disappear. You must have left it somewhere. Do you remember where? No. I went lots of places. I was out all day. They decided to look for the trumpet in the last place Mr. Guinea Pig went before he came home. But he was so upset, he couldn't remember where it was. I do have a stingy little slice of pizza. Hey, maybe that pizza will help us figure out the last place you went. Hmm. Where would Mr. Guinea Pig get a piece of pizza? Would it be from inside my diary? No. Do not have your business eat. How about out of a cereal box? Nah, too corny. So how about the Yeehaw Pizza Stand? Perfect! So Pinky and Mr. Guinea Pig headed off to the Yeehaw Pizza Stand. When they got there, Happy Pepperoni was pulling a vegetable pizza out of the oven. Howdy, y'all! Let's chow down with some vegetable pizza! Wow, what's that? Mmm, mmm, we were hungry. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'll say, that their pizza just vanished! Wasn't that the great big fancy word? Lost my trumpet. That's just not right. We thought you might have left it here. You did hose in here with some of your friends, but you weren't a carry in the trumpet. Where were you before you were here? I forget. Well, somebody did leave this behind. Looks to me like one of them hand-knitted horn warmers. Maybe that'll help you remember where you went before you came here. Hmm. What kind of animal would wear something to keep his horn warm? Would it be Sir Pedro the Penguin? No, too big. Or how about Kingsley the T-Rex? Nah, way too small. What about our friend the Rhino? Hey, he's got a horn. That looks just right. Perfect. Hey, Linda, the Horn and Laughter Club. So Pinky and Mr. Pinky zip Zam Zam to the Horn and Laughter Club. It's Pinky Dinky Doo. There's my horn warmer. Thanks, Mr. Guinea Pig. Oh, Pinky, may I try a new joke on you? What time is it when I sit on a fence? I don't know. Time to get a new fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. But I need to ask you something. We're trying to figure out where Mr. Guinea Pig left his trumpet. It's gone. <gasps> you mean it. <laughs> Vanished? Um, has he gone back to all the places he went this morning? We couldn't find his trumpet at Peppy Pepperoni's, so we thought it might be here. Hmm, he didn't have it when he came in here. But, you know, he did leave this behind. It's a gigantic dinosaur bone. Maybe it'll help you remember where you were before you came here. Hmm, where could a bone like that come from? No, too gummy. How about for Mr. Guinea Pig's sock drawer? Nah, uh, too soggy. How about for the museum of really old stuff? Perfect. Let's go. Bye. When they got there, they heard the dinosaur band playing music. Hey guys, Mr. Guinea Pig lost his trumpet. Man, We're going back to every place he went today to try and find it. And somewhere along the way, you get to where Mr. Guinea Pig left his trumpet, huh? Yeah. Did he have it when he was here? Oh yeah. Now I remember. I was standing right over there. Hey, look, there it is. So that's where you left your trumpet. <laughs> Someone took it. Hey, baby, who would take a tiny trumpet? Hey, this is Batman. Somebody took his tiny trumpet. Oh, man, no way. This is Batman. Dinky, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to think big. If I have a problem, don't know which way to go. I think and think and think and think. And finally, I know. Come on, think, think. Whoa, that big head belongs in a museum. This is a museum. Right. And then it happened. Dinky, 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 just what to do. If you're sure you left it here, it's gotta be nearby, right? Right. So all we have to do is say the great big fancy word, and the person who has the trumpet will jump out. I knew it was yours. I knew you'd come back for it. You took the candy, Grandma. I was afraid it 